Hello folks, this is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and this is a video demo of Alfred. Now Alfred is a very cool, intuitive, neat little application for your Mac OS X enabled Macintosh and or Hackintosh. Um, this physical application was submitted by Clambake01. He let me know about it the other day, Corbin's a great kid, and uh, he's doing moderations on the Unlimited Case forums. Um, on the Unlimited Case forums, I'm really impressed on what it's done. Uh, a couple hundred posts, several users have joined, and we have a lot of activity. I'm really, really impressed. Um, I've been involved. I've been getting in on it. There's some other big YouTubers that are in on it too. MTV Flyers, uh, Mind Games, a few other classic YouTubers have signed up for accounts at Unlimited Case forums, so that's cool. Um, but basically, I've gotten a ton of stuff for my jailbroken phone and for my Mac, like these spaces here. has a little terminal command. And uh, one of our users, jshaw6000, Jimmy, uh, posted it right on the forum. So if you're not a part of this, it's really fun. It's not just limited to Macintosh stuff. There's PC stuff, gaming, you know, Steam, Xbox, PSP, all this cool stuff, and uh, you have to check it out. So it's unlimitedcase.com slash forum. Now, what I want to show to you today is Alfred. I've always thought that Mac OS X's searching was horrible. Um, Alfred improves it a little bit, but it does a bunch of other cool things that are not so much related to individual file searching. Uh, Spotlight is Apple's worst ever implementation discovered by man, um, invented by man, should I mean. Um, I'm a struggle, guys. Uh, on the computer in there, I'm running 10.6, so it's a little bit better. Snow Leopard did improve the spotlight functions a little, but Leopard is horrible, and that's what's running in here. So I never use Spotlight. I've always, to this day, used Command F. And granted, it taxes quite a toll on your operating system, but you know, you can handle it. The problem is, is it's slow. It searches every single thing that you ever want on your computer. And even though I want the file unlimited case, the folder. I have to click into that because there's emails and everything. There's tons of stuff with unlimited cases name on it. So that's not a great way to search stuff. Well, Alfred kind of changes that. Uh, and let me show you what it looks like. There you go. It's the most beautiful, very easy to use, unobtrusive interface I've ever seen on an application. Now it runs in the background, which means that it's not going to be obtrusive. It launches at login very quietly, very discreetly. You don't have any problems getting started. Um, there's the little menu hat up here, that's the logo, but um, I've removed the hat from the bar. But this is the bar. You can make it in white and in black. Um, I've chosen black slash gray. Um, however, let me just show you first what it can do. You can open a specific individual application. So if I type echo phone, click it, and it opens. All right. Um, I can click an individual so far, oh, excuse me, individual link, URL, so cnn.com and it opens, we're there. Uh, I can also go to unlimited case. I open and it's there, you know? So uh, that's pretty nifty, that's pretty cool. Um, there's that. Now, you can also do a few other things which are really cool. Um, you can set it to know what you want. Um, the, the cool thing about Alfred is it learns how you type. It learns what you type about and what you most often search for, what you most often refer to. So I have a lot of applications and people and contacts that start with the letter E, but it knows that I use Echophone more than anything else. So Echophone is at the top of the list. Um, it, it has a, quite a, many uh, interesting little functions. Uh, you can also do system commands from this. You can put it to sleep. You can put the screensaver on, you can shut down, you can empty the trash. Um, just cool little stuff like that. Um, you can also um, search the web. You can search on Wikipedia, Google, and Amazon. So let's say I want to search Kurt Vonnegut. Weird dude. I have three options. I can search Google, Wikipedia, and Amazon. And there's respective um, shortcuts for each. Google is just a return. Wikipedia is command two and Amazon's command three. So if I wanted to search everything there is to know about Kurt, I go right there and I'm ready to go. Now, if I wanted to do that again and find him on Amazon, and there you go. It shows me all of Kurt Vonnegut's books. Um, you can also search him on Wikipedia. 
Now, if you don't want to have to do the control command two option, you can just search. Um, oh, wow. Oh, what did I do? That's weird. Did I just not capitalize it? Is that maybe you need to capitalize? It. I don't know. That's weird. Um, anyway, so there you go. You can search the web uh, very easy, very simply. Um, you can also search YouTube videos. So if I go YouTube and I can search for anything, this opens the search function on YouTube. So I could search uh, Malk. And there you go. Uh, there's the Julian Smith video at the top of the list. So as you can see, it just simplifies a lot of stuff really well. Um, you can also use Twitter, different multiple social networking sites. So I could go Twitter. Oh dear, if you spell it right. And I can open Twitter user. Uh, Twitter, and I want to go to the user Uncle Tony 99 Bam, click it, and it opens. So you can, you know, it's pretty cool. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that you can do. Now, Twitter's cool specifically because you can actually search Twitter and open Twitter, so it's pretty cool. Um, I really think that they've done an excellent job. One thing I wish they did that I'm using an external application for, um, it's called Tracks, and what it does is you search something, and I don't want to right now because then iTunes will open and it'll freak out because my iPad's connected and my phone's connected and my Nook is connected. Anyway, what it does is... Uh, what am I saying? Oh, this allows you to search any track in your library. And it's very nicely organized by album. I just say I want to listen to Jack's Mannequin, and it'll show me all the songs by Jack's Mannequin. Or I can even narrow it down and type spinning, and it goes, okay. I simply push it, and it starts playing. I wish that that usability was available. It's not currently. It may be implemented later. It's only in beta. You know, uh, That's the coolest part about Alfred is it's free. It's freeware right now because it's in beta. I'm sure that it will be shareware as time progresses, but right now, freeware, really cool, uh, nice little feature. So I'm gonna go into the preferences right here to kind of show you how it works, what you can do. You can set your hotkey. Mine is control command space, but you can set it to whatever you want. You can also narrow the results. Um, you can choose to search with Spotlight. You can do web searches, uh, you can reveal in Finder. So you can do a bunch of other stuff. It correlates, it mixes in with search and find on your Mac. It doesn't replace anything, it just works with it. Um, so you can also go to this local tab. Now this is where it gets cool. You can actually search contacts and Safari bookmarks and folders and calendar events all from within Alfred as well. So if I wanted to talk to my friend uh, Sam there, there you go. All the people that are named that in my address book appear and I can find their contact info by simply pressing that button. Um, what else can you do? You can search the Safari bookmarks. You can get into your preference pane, which is pretty cool. So if I wanted to adjust the brightness or go into wallpaper, I search that and it goes into the preference pane. Now, this, I have this disabled because I don't really have a use for it. I still use search and find, but you can also have it search folders. Now, as you remember, I searched unlimited case in the beginning and it was highly inaccurate. Didn't do a great job. Well, watch this. There you go. That's three folders. This is the mobile site. This is the under construction site. And that's my website. So all of this stuff, three folders, took no time. I open it and it finds the uh, little thing for me. Now this is not the actual site because the actual site is kept in a very, very secretly locked room being tested by elves. Um, but that was the old website. All that crap is deleted. But, you know, pretty cool. Uh, so you can do file searches as well. You can actually find an individual file if you so choose. And uh, you can open it also. So if I wanted to find logo.png, I have tons of these, but there you go. And you go, bam. And there's that logo. You can also find it directly. Uh, open logo.png. And you know, you don't even have to type the whole thing. It starts to see, but if you want to get it exactly to the T, then you have to do that. But there you go. You can see that. Um, and let's see. What else do we have to say about Mr. Alfred? Oh, hello. How could I not think of this? You can use Wolfram freaking Alpha from within Alfred. This is sweet. So you go Wolfram. Uh, well, calories in Apple. And Wolfram Alfred, Wolfram Alfred, wouldn't that be?
great. Wolfram Alpha. Wow, I'm struggling. Opens it and tells you everything you know about the calories in an apple. I search again, and I can go Wolfram density of copper. Bam, it opens. You can do math equations. Wolfram Alpha. Uh, y equals to root three plus four. You push it and it opens and it freaking graphs it for you. Um, that's false because I'm not doing it correctly. Oh, that's because I put equals four. So there you go. Now it should show you that beautiful implicit plot. Um, there you go, very cool, very nice. And uh, Wolfram Alfred is a lifesaver. Why do I keep saying Wolf? Moving on. Um, you can also do basic calculator functions. So if you needed to do 654 divided by 900, there you go. And you can do that. You can also use cool dictionary functions. You can make sure your spelling is correct. So you can say spell, and then you type the word. Now, if I didn't know how to spell erroneous, wouldn't that be ironic? I could try and spell E-R-R-O-N-E-U-O-S. And it goes, no, 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 you meant to type E-O-S. You push enter and it's copied to your clipboard. You then post it on Twitter and bother all of your followers. You can also look it up as well. So you can go dictionary look up. Is that? I don't remember the dictionary. Dang it. Uh, it's not spell, but define. There you go. Hello. Define fallacy. You push it. Dictionary opens and tells you what a fallacy is. Um, it's currently on the thesaurus setting. It's good stuff for essays, but there you go. Um, you could do a lot of stuff. It's pretty freaking cool. Um, we can do a few more things. I'll just run through these. I won't show you exactly how it works, but you can do Google Translate, Google Maps, Google Images, Google Mail. You can open Gmail right for that. You can actually search Gmail for an email from within the web browser, so that's cool. You can do your Twitter stuff, open Google Docs, Google Reader, Wikipedia, Amazon. You can search uh, the iMovie database or movie, whatever that is, the movie thing. You can search eBay, search Bing, search Yahoo, search LinkedIn, that's cool. Uh, search YouTube, search Facebook, search Ask, search Flickr, search, or Ask Wolfram, shorten URL. So that's cool as well. Um, Yubnub and weather. So let's shorten URL just because I actually haven't even tried that one, but shorten, that didn't work. Bit, oh, that's why. Bitly. Um, I go to that, push enter, and it goes, well, what do you want to bit.ly? And I say, oh, I want to bit.ly unlimitedcase.com slash forum. Click it, and there you go. There's my link. Um, I'm then able to, oh, if I want to paste it on Twitter, I can also just go bam and push it, and it opens because Alfred is a boss. And there you go. We get to the unlimited case forums. So, very cool, very neat. It is Alfred. It is free. It is available to your disposal. The link is in the bottom bar. I believe it's alfredapp.com, but to be perfectly honest, I don't remember. Yep, it is. Alfredapp.com. It's free. It's in beta. Get it right now. It's excellent. You will die without it. So thank you so much. And uh, as always, stay snazzy. See you later, guys. That was a terrible outro. Let me redo that. This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.